Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today I want to do a, a review on a barber coat that I bought, uh, actually got it for Christmas last year. So um, I did um, a brief video out with the dog about two months ago uh, on the local mountains and uh, I just want to sort of feed back on the coat. I've had it now, like I said, for, for about uh, 11 months and uh, I've been really pleased with it. Now this particular model is uh, a Barber Ashby coat and um, Ashby jacket and uh, it's um, a medium in size. Now it's quite um, a short wearing uh, barber, it's not um, like some of the other particular more traditional cuts. Um, I went, um, went for this particular style because uh, I just like the way you can wear it with jeans and it's kind of a bit more casual, it's not as uh, formal as some of their coats kind of tend to look. But nonetheless the quality uh, is is there and uh, this particular uh, coat I can just show you here so if I just try it on uh, for you show you this now all the so you can see all the traditional uh, signature marks of um, a barber coat and uh, just things immediately that sort of uh, strike obviously there's a waxed outer which is uh, the traditional uh, waterproofness lane. I think this is called Sky Oil. I'll check the name of it, but there's two types on a barber coat, and this is the one they particularly tend to be using at the moment. Um, I think there's another form proof one, um, but this particular coat is a Sky Oil, I think it's the coolest. I'll show you. It's like a little label here. But just to talk you around the coat, um, inside you've got the traditional barber. Let me show you this. You've got the tartan. It says here, and there's a, a very detailed uh, label here, which is all about the barber care, which tells you, um, do not wash with soap, detergent, solvents, or hot water. Do not dry clean, stretch or starch or iron, and do not machine wash. Uh, so basically, do not store wet garment in a contained area, and do not hang garment on radiators exposed to naked flame or use Artificial, artificial heat to dry. Do not stitch through outer fabric. Uh, if items must be stitched, the affected area must be reproof. So basically, with these particular coats, um, these barber coats, you can buy the oil, you can reproof them yourself. And I've done this on a previous video, actually, not with a barber, but I bought barber wax. And um, it's pretty reasonably easy to do. You just gotta make sure that you apply the wax evenly and uh, they say that you should do it at least once a year to keep the coat um, waterproofness. So there's the label there that tells you the sky oil. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. Silk oil, is it? S Y L K O I L. So traditional, whatever it is, S Y C L K, silk oil finish. And um, I'll put the, the video in when I was out and about with this and uh, I can definitely vouch this thing is absolutely waterproof. You just, you know, uh, there's a reason why they're so good and people love them. It's because they do the job. Now, um, I just look at that. That's just a lovely design. Design cube, do they call it there? This traditional tartan, they call it, that comes with a barber. It just looks nice. And of course, you've got these, these panels here, these um, quilted panels which just give it a lovely feel. Now I'd say this particular coat is a kind of a medium weight and um, so it's just a nice coat to go out dog walking or just you know ambling around the countryside it really goes and I think you know barb coats are the, the standard aren't they for the country person uh, whatever your outdoor pursuits may be just like the outdoors but they are uh, equally at home in the town or country so it's that real sort of hybrid type garment isn't it that really just looks the part. I mean, it's uh, you know, one with, you know, wearing a barber, it just looks nice. And you can wear it in, like I said, wear it in the city, or you can wear it in the country. Now, if I just um, just try and get the shots really for you, you can see round the round the collar. Um, it's not. I wouldn't say it's for everyone's taste. This and collars are on a barber are quite. They are quite large. I'll put it back on in a minute. But this is corduroy, and this is um, a nice finish. I think on the there's an American. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but a very similar type of uh, coat, and they're they're a bit more tailored around there. But that's that barber look, and uh, 
that's that's what you get and uh, you know when you, when the wind gets in you can put your collar up and it really does give you that cover and there's a on the on the collar here there's a attention to detail you can hook this round and you can there you go put that round your neck I'll show you when it's back on as well but um, the attention to detail on here is great and the, and the craftsmanship these here all these studded um, fasteners just work, work, work well there's a bit of a storm flap on the front here as well and um, so I'll just try it on again for you there's not a great deal of pockets on this thing there's um, as I said on the inside there's, there's this one there which is velcro not a massive pocket really just big enough to put your loose change your car keys in um, but then you've got the ones on the front and the side to put your hands in but what I like about this, this is a real signature of barber coats is these zip these zipper uppers and um, you've got um, they are YKK which you'd expect but in particular with barber you've got this big um, zipper loop here so if you've got gloves on you can easily get hold of that and that's really good isn't it? it's great with your hands up you can take your gloves off but it's easy and then you've got I said the storm flap here and everything just works just lovely and it's just it just feels nice when you put it on it feels a quality coat and then you can I've got to show you before you've got this thing here that goes across and if you want to stay you know if you want to uh, put if you want to close it up to keep the wind down you can do and there you go so it looks the part doesn't it, it looks nice and then uh, you've got these bellows pockets at the front pretty simple design really um, and on the side here up here you've got hand warmer pockets now inside you've got the, you've got that material there which is like a felt a brown felt and that's warm to touch you know so many manufacturers of coats i've had is you know you buy a really nice coat and then there, there'll be no hand warmers or no hand warmer material in the pockets and it's just like it's just a, a simple thing to do and it makes the whole feel of the coat feel completely different so I'm really pleased with this. I'll probably at some point get another barber coat, maybe in black, wear that and the you know more into the, into the, into town and things. But equally, you could wear this and you wouldn't look out of place because of the, the cut of it. But um, I'll go for maybe uh, a Corbridge. I think it's a, uh, a barber Corbridge coat. There, uh, it's got like four pockets. Well, pockets here and pockets here, and they're very they're very popular. Those things fly off the shelves. But I've not been. Um, too disappointed with this. The waterproofness is absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing I would say is, because I'm, you know, by my main thing is I'm a, a hill walker, a walker, that's something that I love. This is more of a sort of, I'd say, a, it's like a trusty friend, this. Throw it in the back of the car, hands there, it's always there. And um, it's more for your dog walking this. You, you wouldn't walk up a mountain in this because you'd sweat. Um, I'll show you the insides of the coat. It's got this pad in here, so it keeps you that sort of nice medium between uh, it's been too heavy and I think they do do heavier coats but for this it's like a nice medium feel and um, you do sweat in this the ventilation so they've got underneath here there are some studded as you can see there some studded out uh, eyelets there which give a level of breathability but I have found when I'm walking say three or four miles in this dog walking even I'm not really um, going up any hills I think mean, you do tend to get a bit clammy in it so you know be be mindful of that um but it's a barber it's not a, a mountain coat is it it's not a waterproof in, in terms of it's not a, a lightweight outer shell that you would use on the mountains so it's it's uh, horses for courses isn't it and it's designed for purpose so let me just show you the inside of this um so let me just show you the inside pull the in sleeves inside out here and you've got that layer here, as I said, there's just like a medium thickness, but that is the inside of the arm. So it just keep you warm. This is a nice coat, and it's like I said, it's kind of a medium, a medium weight coat, but I absolutely love it. So, you know, there's, I think Barbara are advertising a, and their campaign this year is using Puddington Bear. And it's just kind of, you know, please look after this bear, please look after this coat and find it a good home, which I think is, it's quite uh, amusing and quite catchy. But there you go, I think you've got the Royal Crest on there, which is uh, appointed by 
and uh, I just think these things, people love them, don't they? Because uh, as I said, they're like a, a trusty friend, an old friend to have. And I think, um, I know that Barber, just a couple of things to say, I know that Barber, if you do want to uh, get your Barber repaired, you can send it up to, I think it's the South Shields, where the, uh, the factory is, and they'll repair it for you if you get a rip in it and they'll reproof them for you as well. So they're very much kind of they're around that sustainability. And, uh, you know, Barber, I think I've seen people, you know, have had them for 30, 40 years, and these things are just so tough. And like I said, they're like, uh, they're like the original Land Rover Defender, aren't they? They're just unbeatable. And uh, they're part of the country set, and I just absolutely love it. It's just uh, it's a nice thing to wear. And uh, it's just really comfortable. I've been wanting one for a long time, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe it comes with age, <laughs> but um, I know in particular they have sort of Barber, don't they? And they've got Barber International, uh, which is a kind of a more a more motorcycle bike type of uh, jacket line, um, but also for younger demographic, they have Beacon as well, which is a lot of uh, sort of more fashion, uh, urban type of clothing. So Barber, I just absolutely love it, I do. Now, um, great, hope you found this review useful. Um, just a really quick sort of uh, overview of the jacket, um, what I like about it, the quality and you know the, the craftsmanship in it as well, just love it, the way it's put together. And uh, I can vouch for it, and I'll put the video in when I was out on top of uh, Moyle Vama locally, and uh, it was absolutely bucketing down, I was dry, and that was the main thing. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Now if you enjoy my what I do on the channel, uh, if you want to see more reviews of this type and you enjoy this, don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up and a like. And if you'd be so kind as to uh, subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to grow the channel, and it helps uh, all with uh, getting to that magic number, doesn't it, of a thousand subscribers. So um, if you help me along the way, I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you all very soon. Take care.